Okay guys, we're here again. And again, right now we're focusing on takedown positions. We're going to use two specific mechanics to take away our partner's balance and force them into a grounded position. Those two mechanics are grip, attack, hold the legs in some way, and then force our partner towards their back, pushing their hips behind their legs and forcing them to the grounded position. The secondary idea, which we're going to have a look at in a moment, is when we grip or attach to the upper body in some way, force our partner towards their face and drive their shoulders lower than their hips or their hips higher than their shoulders so that they fall again back to a grounded position. Now we're going to have a look at that same idea, that secondary mechanic from a two-on-one grip or a Russian tie position. Now again, this is going to happen when you're actually connected to your partner. It is very difficult to find a two-on-one grip if I cannot secure the arm. I need to secure the arm, find a powerful control, and just like lots of other powerful controls, it now gives you time or gives you better platform to enter a variety of takedown options. Okay, rather than scrambling and attacking from a loose situation, which can also be effective if you move quickly. Here, once we find control, we can be way more tactical and way more technical because we don't need to compete with speed. We compete with technique and control, all right? So, we're gonna have a look at entering the Russian tie. We're here like this, and again, once we've connected to our partner, we can actually group the arms, we're gonna enter the position. I make a ledge behind the tricep, my secondary hand comes to the wrist and I force my whole body and my shoulders into this posture, turning my chest into the arm to weaken the grip of the arm, putting pressure on the elbow and the wrist, and now I have that powerful control. Now we're gonna have a look at a very powerful arm spin throw. All right, I use this takedown all the time in competition. It's one of my favorite takedown techniques. It's very effective. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again create a posture that's better for me to complete the throw. I don't want my partners to be nice and tall and powerful. My partner's really tall and aggressively strong, it's going to be hard to enter the throw. I'm probably going to lose the arm as I enter the position. So I want to bend their shoulders down a little bit. And I find the best way to do that is actually to force them to push their feet away. It could even just be the closest leg like we talked about before with one of our other options. I start attacking this leg a little bit and my partner moves their body away slightly. That's all. They just step their leg backwards and now they've created that posture for me. Their shoulders are in front of their hips and now I can force them all right, into my throw position. Now, this is quite an aggressive movement. You can't go through this slowly. We're going to do a very aggressive twist all right, throughout the motion and then force our partner onto their back. Wait here like this, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tuck my head under the armpit. As I tuck my head, just turn this way. As I tuck my head under the armpit, I'm actually going to fall to my right butt cheek. I'm going to turn my knee in this direction. All right, I tuck my head under the armpit, and now I force my partner's body into that situation. So one more time, again, I'll do this a little quicker. Again, it's not such a simple movement. I just make this foot step away. As I drive my body into that position, I achieve a very powerful tag down. And again, without my partner here, just for a moment, step, all right, knock their foot out of the way, I tuck my head, and now I force them into that throw motion. 